the aftermath of Namaste Trump. Trump's maiden visit to India had a lot of pomp and show, but the real deals that it achieved were strategic. The visit happened at a crucial moment where both the leaders needed a strong boost forward. Modi being criticized for his revocation of Section 370 and the ongoing CAA protests and Trump facing the pressure of the elections needed a good publicity. The most awaited deal between the two countries was the trade deals. Trump is publicly known to have called India the Tariff King and is known to have terminated the GSP, Generalized System of Preference. What is GSP which is causing a lot of tensions in the trade between the two nations? GSP gives concessions to developing countries on certain goods. Since USA has taken away this huge privilege from India in 2019, the import duties on certain goods have been increased by India. The meeting between the two leaders was not that fruitful in the trade front as this matter is likely to be resolved after the elections in USA. The major success of the meeting was the defense deal. India is going to purchase 3 billion worth of machine equipment, thereby Trump fulfilling his end of the bargain of selling more goods made in United States. India gained its share of the deal with ExxonMobil of importing more of liquefied natural gas. The second major success for Trump after the visit is his share of gaining votes from the American Indians. Almost 4 million Indians stay in the states and the reports of previous elections states that only 16% of them have voted for Trump. This year, he plans to secure more votes from the Indian community. This visit is a boost for him. Trump spoke against China and mentioned Indo-Pacific region instead of Asia-Pacific region as how China likes to address. He mentioned his doubts over the 5G wireless network proposed by China and emphasized about the Blue Dot project. Blue Dot project is a project launched by Washington to bring together the government of USA, Australia and Japan to set up high quality infrastructure in global level and this cannot happen without India's support. India is generating big data, the next new oil and has tremendous growth in the mobile data with low cost connectivity, boosting Facebook and Google to mint substantial profits. USA is the powerhouse of pharma companies, generating medicine and other essential medical equipments. The cooperation of both the countries is essential to grow and build a better future. And this meeting wasn't a huge success as one had expected.